We're talking labor and delivery prep. So some techniques that we like to introduce to our expecting mamas around 37 weeks and beyond. Techniques you can use at home leading up to labor and delivery and during labor and delivery. So first thing here, we have our mama cozy lying on her side. This is for sideline release. Now at home, the couch might be too squishy, give or take the bed as well. Hence why we have mama here on the floor. So use all the pillows that you need, okay? Under belly, in between legs. Here, her legs are stacked and knees bend for support. We're going to be focusing on mom's pelvis. So if you think, you know, your hands are on your hips here, we want you to scoop those hands down just to the nice flat kind of wing of the pelvis. So I will use both hands to apply pressure straight down on mom's pelvis. And mom, how is pressure here? Feels good. Feels okay. So make sure to communicate with your partner because sometimes this isn't the most comfortable feeling for you and you might just need to reposition a little bit. I want you to make sure that hips are always stacked and that one hip is not leaning forward or more backward compared to the hip on the floor. Applying pressure straight down towards the ground. You can be here for 20, 30 seconds or up to a few minutes, whatever mom and of course her partner assisting can tolerate. So make sure to communicate. Now what we're doing here, not only providing counter pressure to help alleviate pressure on those SI joints on the back of the pelvis, in the low back, and even the pubic symphysis in the front of the pelvis, we're helping relax and soften the pelvis, the pelvic floor. To demonstrate my hand position, hands will be right on the wing of the pelvis. So as mom is lying on her side, we are helping counter pressure here. We are releasing pressure in the SI joints and creating space for the sacrum, your tailbone, to relax and open up to create space for babe. Now we're moving into sacral rocking. Mom, comfortable on all fours. Maybe you have your exercise ball at home so you can just lean into that and relax. My hand will be right in the center of mom's pelvis where the sacrum or the tailbone is. I'm using the palm of my hand to apply some pressure downward on the tailbone, on the sacrum, because we want to help tuck the pelvis, tuck the sacrum under to create space, mobility, and help babe move down um, and to engage. So this can look a couple different ways. I can use both hands to apply some pressure just on the sacrum, just on the tailbone for some really nice counter pressure. But the other option is to use your free hand low and underneath belly while your initial contact hand is still on the sacrum. We are gently lifting up on belly and applying pressure on the sacrum to help rock and tuck the pelvis. Another alternative to sacral rocking is against the wall. Palm of my hand is in the middle of mom's pelvis at the top or at the base of the tailbone. My free hand is low on belly. I will gently pull up on belly as I apply all my pressure down through the back of the pelvis, through the sacrum to help the pelvis rock. Now the alternative to sacral rocking on the floor or on your countertop or on the wall is yes, here on the massage chair, you could be sitting on your toilet backwards facing the tank or potentially a chair at home where you are well supported, where mom can totally relax all of her body weight. So again, palm of my hand is in the middle of mom's pelvis where that tailbone and sacrum are. Now my free hand is low on mom's belly. I am lifting gently up on mom's belly while I apply all my pressure down through the tailbone, through the sacrum to help really tuck and rock that pelvis. Another technique you can use at home or mom can use at home by herself, she is still comfortable on knees and the exercise ball. We're going to encourage mom to bring feet out so they are wider than the knees because when feet and knees are together, the pelvis is nice and closed. But now as she brings her feet outward, we're helping open up the lower pelvis so babe can engage, we can create space. 
From here, mom will rock down and back into the hips per her comfort. You can hang out for a few seconds, 30 seconds. All I want you to do here is to think about relaxing the pelvic floor. So breathe into your pelvic floor. This is a beautiful technique to keep mobility in the pelvis. So mom can think about pelvic tucks, tucking the tailbone under and out, under and out. You really want to focus on your full range of motion here. Of course, we can rock back and forth, side to side, or even add in some figure eights while we're on the ball. We're all familiar with curb walking, so you can use a step at home or enjoy some fresh air outside to work some asymmetrical movement through the pelvis. A nice alternative to getting some rocking motion in the pelvis and release some tension on those ligaments.